everybody, it is Brad from Select Roses again. I wanted to walk you through one of our old garden beds. We have in this bed a bunch of the David Austin English roses that are known for their famous huge fragrant blooms and a few ordinary shrub roses and a couple of old garden roses. Some of these, like this plant here, Abraham Darby, a famous old rose, has been in here for about 25 years. And you can tell from the amount of dead wood and old wood on it that it's really done its job. We'll be pruning this down. I'm going to show you some other plants like this one here, a famous one that's called Golden Celebration that you can actually grow into a huge climber if you want, but we bring it down at least halfway every year because we don't want it falling out into the pathway and we grow it as a small shrub rose. I like this variety Golden Celebration so much I planted a second one and I would like to show it to you here. In front, in front of the Golden Celebration is an old garden rose called Charles de Mills. This was just a root piece that was left and it suckered up from the original root, but it was an own root variety. So what came up was actually Charles de Mills. We shear it back each year and just keep it as a nice little rose. The one in the background here was another Golden Celebration. I planted it in the bed a few years ago. I changed the soil, which was really important when you're planting where other roses have been. A new rose cannot stand growing where an old rose has been. So I dug out a bunch of soil, thought I put enough new soil in. I plunked in Golden Celebration, but look down at the base. I've actually left it up a little bit too high. It's had about three years to do its thing here. And I have not been the most attentive gardener. And it is my fault that half the plant is dying off. It's not looking good. So I'm going to show you a great technique to renovate a rose like that. I will just reach over here grab my trusty shovel you put it at the base of the plant and you put your foot under it and you pop it out and you know what I call this shovel pruning and I do this to any plant that does not pay its rent in the garden and it wasn't the roses fault it was my fault I just didn't do my job and look how easy this is gonna pop out of here those old established plants wouldn't pop out nearly as easy but because I didn't plant this properly it never got a chance to root in you see how quickly that came out? That's no more roots than what it came in with. So my fault, and I'll get to shop at my own nursery and buy a new Golden Celebration. But what we'll do now is dig out a big wheelbarrow or two of soil, put nice new soil in, new rows all around it, and we'll do another video clip just to show you how much soil we're gonna take out, a few little tricks that we do, and we'll put in another plant of Golden Celebration or another shrub. But before we finish this video, I want to show you a couple other favorite roses. We have an old shrub variety. It's a German bred one called Zaid. This has probably been here for 10 years and it's looking great. We've topped it back a little bit in the fall. We're still going to take this rose down. Even though it's a tall grower, we'll take another foot off it. We have one that's called Caramel Fairy Tail. We have Golden Fairy Tail in here. And we have a rare shrub rose that was sent to me from Europe and in Europe they use a different rootstock called canina that's very hardy but it tends to be prone to sucker so if you look right down here you'll see all of these little red shoots coming up this is part of the root system actually the wild rose and if we left that it would take over the desirable bush that we want so at this time of the year we're gonna clear a bunch of the old weeds off and then we're gonna go around as low as we can and we're gonna take those little suckers away Keep in mind that if you have an own root rose, uh, one of the carpet roses or something like that, the new shoots that come up are all part of the plant. But if you know it's a grafted rose and it sends those low shoots, you wanna remove those at this time of the year. All the weeds in this bed should be out and I have some lovely garden angels that help me do that. And we'll have it mulched and we'll show it to you in three or four days and it's gonna look great again.